Hello, this is Black Panther Boxing. This is my review on O'Hara Davis's third round stoppage victory over Derry Matthews. Um, a fight I was very much uh, looking forward to. It was a good matchup for this point in O'Hara Davis's career. Uh, I had, in my prediction, I had O'Hara Davis to win on points. You know, he's a very lengthy, good long boxer, jabs well, moves well, great head movement. And he showed that in all his lead-up fights, all the, all the way through his career, stepping up every time. And this was the next step for him. This is a bigger step than he's ever taken before for O'Hara Davis. And um, you know, he, and he said after the fight, he's this is the hardest he'd ever trained. And um, that showed in the ring. He stopped Derry Matthews in the third round. He tagged him with a few shots and then finished him off very nicely with some great hooks, uppercut, switching it up in there. Uh, it, was a, it was a brilliant finish for him, uh, not not what I was expecting, uh, however when I did start watching the fight I could tell he was looking for the big shots, the way he was boxing, you know he was very flat footed, holding his ground, waiting, trying to dig his shots in um, and trying to hit Derry hard, um, Derry stood up well, you know he was boxing how he always boxes, you know very smart, quite tidy, neat, jabbing, coming in, out, but you know Ohio Davis was just too much and I think uh, this shows a lot of O'Hara Davis. Um, I don't know how hard Derry Matthews would have trained for this fight. You know, I think he retired after this fight in the ring, or he's, you know, he's, you know, he's ended his career now. Um, but O'Hara Davis now he can move on, look at some top quality fights. I don't think he's um, near world level yet. However, he's not far off. I think two, three fights, um, stepping up in opponents each time, and he can. Uh, Go on and fight for world level. You know, obviously Luke Campbell in that division, a very strong division for Great Britain. Luke Campbell, Scotty Cardle, um, all these guys, Anthony Crawler, Terry Flanagan, all um, great British fighters. Uh, I, and there's been possible talk of someone like Robert Davis Jr. I'd, I think that would be a very interesting fight, and I think O'Hara Davis would win that comfortably. Um, maybe even stopping him, if not cruising ahead on points. Um, but I, the one flaw I thought that O'Hara Davis showed was that he wasn't too aggressive in the fight. He wasn't too coming forward. He wasn't looking to dominate or show any sort of superior ring craft. Uh, however, he did get the stoppage win. So I think that proves, you know, that his game plan did work. Um, but his foot, footwork was very flat. He was standing very still. You know, he wasn't able to create angles as well with um, flat foot feet and uh, I think that's the only flaw I thought in his uh, in his game plan last night. Um, although Derry Matthews wasn't quick enough or skillful enough to take advantage of that, I think, you know, you have someone like Luke Campbell or, you know, even a step above someone like Scotty Cardle who would um, be able to take a bit more advantage on that. Uh, that's the only thing I think with O'Hara Davis, although I rate him very highly. And every time he stepped up an opponent, he stepped up in skill level and is um, and he's moving up brilliantly. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next. You know, he's that's a big exposure for him on a big card, um, and that's just just great. Move on from there. Uh, and I'd like to see him fight Robert Davis Jr. I think that'd be a good scrap. You know, there's already some beef there between them. I think there've been a bit of Twitter beef, so it'll be interesting to see that fight. I think that you know Robert Davis Jr. is just box not long ago you know maybe get that on a big undercard fight and O'Hara Davis can show again what he can do and see where he goes from there